The fact that we are small and nimble and the fact that uh, we, have, we are very near to the people makes us much more easier for us to implement things. Well, it's an honor to have with me here at the AIM Blockchain Summit, Silvio Shambri. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure, Jessica, for me to be here. Always great to have you back. Now, I want to take a look at Malta, the blockchain island. Looking ahead to 2020, how do we see the future of Malta when it comes to the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry? Well, I think now we're going to see the fusion of other, other emerging technologies with blockchain. As I just mentioned, now we're exploring also the introduction of AI into a blockchain implemented system. For one practical example, as a government level, is the Malta Business Registry whereby we're going to implement a system operating on the blockchain and through AI assistant tools we're going to have a situation whereby a person would like to register a company can do that 24 7 and the process of registering that company would start instantly once the applicant submits the application online and um, this will obviously reduce a lot of bureaucratic procedures increase efficiency transparency and all the likes and also we would see that in the next year more um, areas would be operative on the blockchain. We see in the registry of companies, as I mentioned, we're going to see, uh, we already saw the education certificates on the blockchain, and now we're exploring into the land registry, we're exploring into rental contracts and, and other areas. And something that must make you extremely proud and certainly makes me so that we are located here in Malta is that Malta government members and bodies really do come to events like this and really do uh, sit and provide information about what the country is doing and it seems that the country is very heavily involved in this emerging technology. Well, I think as a government it's our duty to do that in the sense that it's useless if we implement things and people would not know what we're doing. And the fact that we are small and nimble and the fact that uh, we, have, we are very near to the people makes us much more easier for us to implement things in the sense that when speaking about emerging technologies, if you try to implement what we have done in Malta in bigger countries, I think it would be much difficult for them to translate them to the people. Us being close to the people, um, coming as an event like this, as, as you said, and speak on quite frequent events to a lot of people would uh, make it an easier situation for us to transfer the message and, and basically disseminate the information we would like to deliver. Well, thank you so much for attending today. It's always great to see you again. It's always a pleasure for me. Thank you. Well, that's all from us here. We'd love to hear how you found this interview, so share your thoughts with us.